My name is Lane Schrag, and I'm going to show you what my four-week project was, which was 3D printing. And I plan to make a couple things using SketchUp Pro, and I made a dice, a name tag, and a fidget spinner. The technology I used was SketchUp Pro, but I can't use that right now because my 30 day trials out. But to show you something, the video of it. This is basically how I made the cube. We can speed it up real quick. Anyways, that's that's this is mostly that is mostly what I did. Um, I used the circle tool, rectangle tool, the depth tool, so I can make the indentions on the dies make my name pop out and the circle tool I use to make the dots on the dies and the circles for the fidget spinner. My project plan right here. 3D printing, learn how to use it. I followed it, the tutorials were great. Yeah, that's my project plan. My project results here is the first dice I made and this side is completely gone so I made my second one which is down here and obviously that side is not disappearing but the circles are a little smaller and not quite the same lengths from each other fidget spinner right here pretty basic just made one big circle and then um, deleted a smaller circle inside of it and then my name is here, but it, once you turn it, no, that is not how you spell my name. I ran out of room, so I left the H out. Overview, what did I learn through the learning process? Not everything you see on SketchUp Pro is how it looks on the in the STL file, which can make a big difference when you print it. Um, how important was problem solving? Well, pretty important considering if I didn't solve how to fix my dice, I would not have made a dice. What would you do differently if I could redo my project? Um, when I was doing my project, the printer didn't work, so I didn't have time to print my stuff, and that would have been pretty cool to see. And then my biggest success is when I got the dice to work, and it looked great.